You all just know that you just got this car for $330,000. But what you probably do not know is how everything got started. Now let's go back in time. Nine years ago, all I wanted is to own a Lamborghini. It went as far as me asking myself in any field of endeavor that I get to, will this thing get me to own a Lamborghini? If it is a no, I'm backing out immediately. When I was in Delta State University studying law, the question I had asked myself was, can I become a lawyer and own a Lamborghini at a very early age? What are the chances? I do this math all across. So the chances of me owning a Lamborghini as a lawyer in an early age was very tiny. And I dropped out of school. This video is not tailored to you to drop out of school. As a matter of fact, even right now, there are many people that still pay their school fee. So I still encourage that you get education. But I believe that education can be gotten even farther from the four walls of the university. The truth is, you really have to pay attention to things and vehicles that are taking you to where you really want to be at. So the next thing I actually sat down, I tried was, I tried phone flipping. I asked myself, can this phone flipping, buying phone from United States, bring it down to Nigeria and sell for profit here in Nigeria, would this buy me a Lamborghini at a very early age? The answer was again, no. I even went as far as trying agriculture. Back in 2019, 2020, I started an agricultural farm in Obomosho, where I own about 18 acres of potatoes and so many other crops that I tried planting. But then, it wasn't also the dream. It failed, as a matter of fact, I ran at a loss at that very early age too. So I've tried more of that things. Some were fascinating, some were lessons, some I just made some profit. And I've even tried also buying trucks and using for Loma. Loma is Lagos State Waste Management Agency. So if you see those garbage trucks, maybe in, around Apapa then, I own about two of them. Yeah, I was making some profit, but then it never really was going to take me to where I really wanted to be at. I've tried some couple of other things, working for my uncle to know how exactly his shipping business works. Then my uncle ships stuff from Europe to Nigeria and then he sells for profit. I worked for him for free. And I've also tried my hands on so many other things. Freelancing, I've done video editing, I've done photo editing. I've also done phone flipping, just as I've said, go to Computer Village sell for profit to people in the computer village and get back home. I've also done unlocking, unlocking of phone. So life kept going on and on like that for me. I remember on my journey from Delta State back to Lagos, thinking about how I would definitely survive in Lagos. Because in Lagos, all I was coming back to was my brother's house. I have a room there and he was really so supportive. But then I'm sure he probably would have an iota of disappointment Imagine a young child whom they've spent a lot of money on to go to university now wanting to drop out. As at first, I never told them I was going to drop out, but I already knew that that was what I was going to do. But I never really had the courage to. Obviously, imagine going, walking up to your parents, telling them they want to drop out of school. As a Nigerian parent, trust me, you'll never hear the end of the story. So, but as time moved on, they started understanding that that is what this guy is really wanting to do. There's even a time I forgot my post-TME date in University of Learning. I forgot to go sit for an exam. And that was like the highest point of unseriousness amongst my siblings at that particular time. Because then what I was doing was I was getting educated online on some editing skill, photo editing, video editing. I was learning Adobe Illustrations. I was learning many other things. I was just every online. When I finally got my hand, into the editing world, I signed up for Upwork and Fiverr, the most popular online space to freelancers. Then I started getting gigs for as low as $5, $10, but then still not the Lamborghini dream for me. In 2017, can you guess how many cars I've been able to get ever since I started Forex trading? Now let me cut you that stress of guessing by telling the story of how exactly everything started in 2017. So I started Forex in 2017 through a seminar that I went to that was introduced to me by a family friend, Brother Kunle. Brother Kunle is someone that actually told me about the MMM thingy. But then they always had a bigger guy whom they actually registered under. He had already moved on after the big crash of the MMM system. 
they lost a lot of money all right but then he actually had to ask this guy how did you move on faster just and that guy Urel. then i think he was in product court then he asked him how come you have moved on this fast so the guy told him about how he started learning a skill set online which was forex so then he had already made plan with him can you teach me this forex and then the guy told him that there's going to be a seminar that will be happening at the renaissance hotel then in Ikeja, now the Rembrandt Hotel, that we should be there at some certain time. I remember that day clearly, like yesterday, it was on a Saturday and it was on the 1st of November, November there about. So when we got there, we had already planned that any time we get there, if they are able to convince us in about 25 minutes as to why we should do forex trading, then I'm going to be giving them my money and I'll be signing up immediately. All I wanted was a vehicle that would take me to where I really want to be at, obviously. The Lamborghini dream. And then you go to trust these marketers. We were convinced even in lesser minutes. So I dropped all my money I've ever worked for unlocking phone and flipping phone. I registered with everything just for a hope to be taught Forex. And then I got introduced into the world of Forex trading proper. Starting Forex this time was never an easy task. I tried so many ways to learn even outside the classroom. There were never enough information online as to what we have this day and age. There was never motivation. I blown account. I kept learning from demo from back to back for a year and a half without no result. But one thing I've never ever thought of was ever giving up. So back and forth, 2019, I was able to buy my first car, which is Kia Rio 2012. One of the things that was really mind blowing as at that time was how my brother reacted when he knew that I was buying a car. I was squatting with him, but then he was shocked. How on earth would you buy a car? He was shocked for two reasons. Two things was, number one, I didn't buy the car so I could drive. I bought the car so I could put out for a business, for an Uber business and I could get monthly return earning. And number two, first, I had to convince him that the money I used in getting this car wasn't through fraud. After first sitting down, explaining to him what it is I was doing, what forex trading was. And lucky thing for me was, you already knew about forex trading. He had ventured into forex trading back in 2007, but then it was an unsuccessful journey for him at that time, so he had to drop it off at some point. But then the journey continued. It took four years of consistent grinding before I could afford just one car. It felt like I won a Grammy. I mean, everything then felt like a jackpot to me. It was all surprising, the euphoria, the excitement, the fact that I could actually do something for myself outside school was very fascinating. Like some traders in their first few years usually wonder, why is it very hard for one to break through in trading? I also had that same thinking. But the thing was, I never ever had the thought of ever giving up in trading. I waited earnestly. Whilst I was waiting, I was working, I was patient, and I was strongly believing that definitely someday I will get the right strategy, the right risk management, and the right psychology. But I've always known from day one that I was not in the business of a get-rich-quick scheme. Even if it had taken me about 10 years to get this same thing, I definitely would be waiting. That was a decision that actually changed the scheme of things for me. Once I got my first car, I knew that there was more. It took extra two years and my horizon got broadened. Within those two years, I was able to travel to ultra-modern cities, including Dubai and some other smaller cities. And then there, I knew the exact definition of luxury. It was when I came back from Dubai, although Dubai wasn't my first country I ever visited, the first country I visited was Benin Republic, where I spent two or three days from Benin Republic traveled to Dubai, where I met the exact luxury. I knew that Jeff was really trying, but now Jeff really needs to be ta 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 so that he can actually make the type of money that actually could afford those things that I saw there in Dubai. It was crazy. Trust, I know you guys know Dubai vibe. <laughs> it was out of this world. I took my trading more seriously. I traded, I made profit, I made losses as well, but then my horizon changed. In 2021, my dream car then was the latest G-Wagon. 
and then the price then was 125 million naira but then i had to settle for what i have which was a lexus is 250. then i felt like a lagos big boy i had my lexus is 250 then i rented my first apartment that was when i started staying in loan 2021 august in lekki life felt new again and then i had to work harder i had no plans of falling back to my brother again now i now pay bills and i do more other things on my own so life really had to get more serious at this stage it was a whole different ball game but then i was excited because now i'm more responsible for myself i'm more responsible for people around me and i know also i have to keep sending money back home not because they really do need it or they are asking me for it but because it just makes me feel more serious and more tenacious at whatsoever i was doing in 2022 Forest started giving me sweet profits, sweet money. Like 2022 was one of my best years that I've ever traded. I was making money crazily. Then I got a Mercedes C43. Not long, same 2022, I got a Range Rover Sport. That Range Rover Sport, I didn't really enjoy the car. So a couple of months later, I sold it off. But the C43 gave me the Lagos big boy vibe. I started Bolly and then the popular name, Ogai Affairs. Matched. Every time I got a new whip, I took my forex trading journey more seriously. I mean, you don't have to blame me. You have to blame human ones that is never insatiable. I always wanted to hit that new satisfaction I wanted, and then that would mean that I have to also demand more from myself, from my mind, from my psychology, from my risk management, and from my trading. I kept pushing harder and harder. And trust me, the mind will always produce whatsoever you are set it to. That is what motivational speakers always mean by the limits always exist in your mind. My taste kept changing, just like new beast change strategy. I mean, you don't have to blame me. I just love luxury. I don't like noise. So I keep going for the luxury of things I have in my mind as long as I can afford them. In 2023, I got another car again, which is a BMW R8. This car was a phenomenal car. I really love this car, but I didn't get to use it for so long too as well because the time I was driving this car off of the dealership, a couple of days later, the car actually hit a speed bump and then the battery was damaged. It required immediately about five to $7,000 to have this car fixed. So as a matter of fact, I saw that the maintenance cost of this car was too much. So I was advised by an expert to have this car sold off. So the car was immediately sold off. And that same week, I got a Range Rover Vela, which broke the internet again. So this car was sort of me trying to differentiate my Range Rover Vela 2022 from the lower year, which is 2018, 2021, because everybody with the design, exterior design, it all looked the same thing. So I decided to give it a vinyl wrap. I'll make it very different. This wrap, actually made the whole difference. Everybody knew that there was a bigger baller in town. So with that, I know that there's something more to still achieve. So in this video, I'm just gonna be talking to you, telling you more about the car achievements. So don't get tired, just follow me to rejoin it for those that also want to also achieve the same type of thing. And afterwards, I traveled yet again. When I traveled, I visited Qatar. So in Qatar, I had a car, a Porsche Buster 718 2023, brand new. But this car changed my mindset, the way I looked at things again. It was immediately when I was driving up dealership, both the Qataris and non Qataris were looking at me in that car. The euphoria, the excitement, the feel, the happiness I just got from there gave me a mindset like, Jeff, never go below any car below 2020. So I wanted everything brand new. As long as my chart can afford it, I definitely will go for it. So that was what I actually made up my mind to start doing ever since I visited Qatar. When I returned back to Nigeria, immediately I got a Mercedes-Benz CLA 45S. That was what gave me the name Jeff Benz. This car went automatically viral because of how I traded that day and that same week I was able to acquire that trading off of my account. I mean, this car 
was gotten from Forex Trading Life, which is a video I documented here on YouTube too. And then my friend, Habi, also had the same car. So we decided to twin it by wrapping it exact same color, which was the yellow wrap that I chose to give those two cars. And then it became a signature in our garage, which I still maintain to you today in my garage. In 2024, just this week, I added a Lamborghini Euros of $330,000 to my garage. I mean, this has always been a dream car, only a Lamborghini in the garage. The feeling and the excitement feels a whole lot different. Some things are not worth dying for, but some things are worth trying, worth waiting for and endlessly working at. I mean, there's no limitation you can ever have if you're a forest trader. There's no limitation at all, zero. You can always get anything that you want to get. I would like someone in the comment section to guess what you think my next dream car is. Because one thing I've always realized in life, once you reach the next bar, you dream again. You raise the bar again. So if you think I probably will be taking it down to maybe a Lexus LX, you lie. You are taking it higher. I don't think you need any more motivation than the story that I've taken you through in this video. You've seen how I've transformed from wanting to become to where I am right now. But the truth is, I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm definitely not where I used to be. And the fact that where I'm headed to, glaring at me right in the face, and have a means and a vehicle that will take me there, that is what makes the difference. Have the means, get in the right vehicle, you definitely will get to your destination. In this video, I'm just here to establish the fact that success to me is actually achieving what you already said you're going to achieve when you started. That is success, however small it is. Starting out for me, I just wanted to live like an American average kid. But right now, I'm living like bigger billionaires. But right here in Nigeria, I'm able to repatriate those things we see in the United States, in Dubai, to bring those exact same luxury here in Nigeria. Just stay in a good place have the dream, have a vehicle, and keep foiling it every day. Foiling it requires a very strong psychology. Keep believing, keep working, keep strongly buying into the idea, and keep mingling with the right folks. You definitely will have it done. Here's the summary of it all. At each point in life where you find yourself, always make sure you remember where you're heading to and where you're coming from. These are like dots. Where you're coming from is like a dot that you have to connect in order for you to get to where you are going to. Connect these dots, you definitely will arrive at a very good answer to take you to your destination. If you like this type of videos, make sure you stick around in this channel, like it so that this video can be suggested to as many other people that watch. And if you want to subscribe, you think this is a good content, you can go ahead and subscribe. Just truly, Jeffrey Lambo Benson.